All right, in this video, this is a how-to on how to change your main jet when you've changed elevations and your pig, this is on, a, I'm sorry, this is for an XR650R. This is a Kynan uh, side draft piston valve carburetor. And I want to show you how to change that main jet, how easy it is. Normally, the carburetor is on the bike. So let me show you what you do. You've got the carburetor on the bike. This is the side coming in from the air box. This is the side going into the motor. There's a large clamp that goes around a rubber boot on each side. Loosen those clamps like a hose clamp. And then you can rotate your carburetor just enough to get to the side. First, what you want to do, though, is take a screwdriver and you would unscrew. This is your float bowl drain right here. Drain the float bowl if you want to do it that way. Or the other way is take a 17 millimeter and take this again the carburetor would be on the bike sits like this outlet to the engine inlet from the air box loosen these two hose clamps rotate this just enough to where you can get to it put a 17 millimeter on this cover that covers that main jet. So it's going to be kind of like at this angle here. You would unscrew it and let the water, you let the gas drain out that way if you want, or drain it here and then come, when you take this off, it's relatively dry. Because when you see it reach a certain point, see there's holes right there where gas will bleed out. Then you take a six millimeter and you put in there. I'm going to turn it this way so you can see the main jet. There's your main jet right there. You would take and loosen that. It's a little tight in there. Sometimes I usually use needle nose. Try and get your fingers in there and twist it. I'm just going to use needle nose. My big fingers aren't working. And you just twist it out of there carefully so you don't get metal shavings from scraping or anything like that. There is your main jet. This one has a 175 in it. Hopefully you have a selection of jets for different elevations you anticipate. I have 168 through 180 in here. They're really cheap. Go to your Honda dealer, about five bucks, or you can buy them online. You also want to have, I would probably go to uh, the Pigpen website. It's called xr650r.us. There it is right there. And when you go there, it's called the Pigpen. This is for an xr650r. For other bikes, you go to a related website and you can find a jetting guide. In this case, it has been uh, modified. This is an uncorked. Uh, pig. It has, we're going to go with this middle one right here, XR650R uncorked with the cam, the side panels cut out. It has a pro circuit uh, racing exhaust on it, so we'll call it an HRC tip. That means you go two main jet sizes larger than the chart specifies. So let's go down. So if you had just a stock one, it's at least uncorked. Uh, you'd go one size up. If it's just stock, you would used to use this chart the way it stands. If it was stage two cam, more of a racing style, then with full exhaust header and you know and canister, then you're going to be doing five main jet sizes larger. Well, one thing on Kynans, the jets run zero, two, five, and eight. So a 17 jet would be as 170, a 172, 175, 178, and then it jumps to an 18 series or an eight, or a 180. So in this case, we are at roughly 1,100 feet of elevation, and roughly in about that 78 degrees. It's winter time right now. It's January, it's February. So take two sizes up from a 170 is a 175. That's what we have in it, a 175. Wherever it is, right there, 175. Um, I would probably, if I was going to be changing and going to different elevations, you might even want to take and print this chart out, throw it in your um, kit somewhere. 
Needle clip position, it's always important. I went over the needle clip position in a previous video on how to rebuild your XR650R carburetor, but basically uh, position 3 is good enough. Pilot size, that's going to be your slow jet and 68S. That's what I have in it, and it's a 68S. That's the one. You probably don't have to change that, really, unless you're way up around 10, 11, 12,000 feet. I guess you might change it down to a 65. I have a six, I carry a 65 and a 68S, which is a spare. What's 68S the difference? This will tell you basically it's the whole size for emulsification. All I know is it works. So, XR650R.US, go to the jetting page, take a look at it. If you want to know how to rebuild your carburetor, see my previous video on how to rebuild a carburetor on XR650R or similar side draft piston valve carburetors that are made by Kynan. Now, let's get back to putting this together. All right. So you're on the side of the road, the side of the trail, or you're just rode up. This thing's chugging, it's choking, it's flooding out, it's just running really crappy because you've probably gone from like our elevation of 1,100, and we're going to go to Colorado, be up around 8 to 12,000. I'll bring my jets with me. You'll take that bottom one off. You'll put a different size jet in there. You'll put it in there. It goes into that bottom. It's a little, a little tough to get started with your fingertips. You'll just get her started. There we go. Screw in as much as you can if you've got smaller fingers. Or, like I use, I always carry a pair of needle nose with me. And I'll just get it to where it's tight or snug. And then I use my 6 mil, 6 millimeter wrench. And snug, but not over tight. Okay, you're not trying to you know, tighten down a cylinder head. So snug, a little tight, but not super tight, just a little bit. And then you reinstall your cap. Make sure your O-ring is in good shape. This one's already, I've already put a little pure silicone grease around it, which won't affect anything. You'll tighten that back off. Oh, I forgot to mention, before you do anything, turn your gas off. Then drain your gas out of the float bowl. Either drain it through this screw here. You would loosen it up and it'll drain out the bottom of your bike. Or you would take this off and it'll just kind of spill out. The only gas that will come out will be if it's in the float bowl here. Again, this would be installed on a bike, so it would be kind of tilted this way. You'd do it from the right-hand side. You'd unscrew this, replace that real quick, screw it back on, twist it back, tighten your two hose clamps up, done. Start it up, be ready to go. Thanks for watching.